Thank you so much for coming and welcome to Afro Future Now, which is part of the Afro Future program. What do I want people to take away from, from this? I think um, a curiosity, obviously. I hope we've um, lit up your curiosity about Africa and about the tremendous variety of things that go on there. So I really encourage everyone to read and learn and explore and travel there and see things for themselves. What I would ask, not only this audience, but everyone that consumes image, images coming from Africa, is to be careful, like, to understand why these images are there, why the images uh, are there in front of you, and why not other images. So just be aware of that. How many people have been to Africa here in the room? The reason why I ask you who been to Africa is you need to consider us as your friends. We are now friends. Uh, let's share ideas about Africa. There is no room for mistakes and errors because you have the ecosystem now, the people you can talk to about Africa. There is, it, it does exist. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we didn't have this. Now there is. So let's build a friendship from here and, and a network and you know, a change makers community. Us wanted to make a difference in Africa because we are, each of us in this room, we are responsible of what's going to happen in Africa today and tomorrow and the generation of my son, we are all responsible. Think about that. If you weren't afraid of Africa, what will you do? Africa now, it's, I think it's now changing slowly by slowly. As we say, no hurry in Africa. So, a few years to come, I think, we'll try to be the best. I think it's really important that we uh, resist the urge to uh, think about what Africa should be and try to find ways to support them in figuring out what they feel, um, what's right for them, what's right for Africa. Um, for me this is a really a source of inspiration that I think it's we can, where we can learn, learn from. Yeah, I think this has been such a great event um, and particularly looking at the future of Africa from cities uh, because of course uh, cities are said to be man's greatest invention. You know, we have to think about Africa the same way we are thinking about the rest of the world. And it's not so much about, people speak about sustainability a lot. I think it's really more about responsibility, starting from the individual. Sustainable development is one that actually addresses the needs of the uh, present without compromising uh, the opportunities of the future. So. I think that's uh, something to take home. Where I was going to end was that the solution to many of the problems that I was presenting is really emerging from the communities themselves. They are discovering the use of materials, they are discovering the designing which helps them to come to grips with living in the city. And that is no mean feat. And if we're going to get somewhere we will have to seek inspiration from these sources.